In this recording, we are going to add a new page and then we're going to add uh, a hero section like you would have on your home page, which is that large image. So we'll do that as adding a column with a background image and then a text overlay. So first we want to go to pages and add new page. I'm just going to call this test hero and then I want to launch Beaver Builder. Okay, by default this comes up to modules, but we want to go here to rows and we want to add a one column. Okay, and then you'll notice there is an inner container here and an outer container. We want to go to these uh, this wrench. And this is fixed width, but we want it to be full screen, so we'll go to full width. You can leave the content width to fixed, and that's going to keep all of your pictures and text within this 1100 pixels. And we'll scroll, scroll down here for background. It's set to none, but we're going to go down to, um, let's just well, we'll choose photo. And then for the source, we're going to select a photo. If you want to upload one, you would just go to upload files. We're going to use this one here and select that. Okay, and right now, if we go to advanced, we can see that it has a 20 pixel padding. And remember again, this is the top padding, this is right padding, this is bottom padding, and this is left padding. So it's going to move everything, it's going to basically keep a space of uh, 20 pixels all the way around within the container. If you want to do it outside of the container, then you would use margins. Okay, so I want a little bit more distance from the top here, so I'm going to put 100 pixels, see how that dropped the photo down. And then from the bottom, let's just start with 150. We may change this later, so we'll hit save. And then if I hit done now and publish it, you can see I have that 100 from the top and 150, so I've got a space of 250 pixels here. And again, just to demonstrate what the padding does, let me go back into the settings. I'm going to put this at 250, and it's just going to give me a little bit more room there. And then to show the margin, I'm going to say 50. And you can see right now how it gave me some room at the top. Okay, really, we don't want that. I'm going to put it back to zero. Hit save. Okay, and now I want to bring in some text, so I'm going to move that into this container right here. So I hit my plus button to get my options and go back to modules. And I'm going to pull a heading over here. And uh, I'm going to go to general and put um, new release. Okay, I can't see this because it's in a dark font, so I'm going to go to style, go to style, select this, and I can bring this all the way down here to white. Then I want to center it, and maybe I want it a little bit bigger. And anything else you may want to do with the font, you can do in here. Again, this is set to default, which you're going to set in your customizer option in the WordPress dashboard. We'll go over that on another video. Okay, so we'll just leave this here and hit save. And I want to put a little subheading underneath it. some silly thing here. And again, I want this to be white, so I'm going to bring this color bar all the way down. And notice you can 
drag this across here to select a color. Um, I want this to be closer to the headline, so I'm going to put zero on the padding at the top. Oh wait, that was, okay, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go I'm going to go five here on this margin and just bring that in a little tighter. And the last thing I want to do is add a button. Go to general, make this say bye, and my link would go here. Now I need to style the button. I'm going to center it, and then here you can change the text color and the background color. I'm going to change this. You do want to keep this consistent, but just for the sake of showing you what you can do today, we'll just bring this in here. Okay, and I still can't read this text very well. So I'm going to make one more change, go down here, and I'm going to push this further from the top. So I can get this out of this light region here. Um, and something else I could do, since this is on the right hand side, we go into style, on center, we can play around with these things to see how that changes. So that's going to change the position of the background photo, which is good because it gives me a darker area for the text. We'll hit done and publish.